So the other day I checked through Discord to see if maybe Grant sent me a message or Southern or Blender Binge, but no, of all people to have sent the message, it was Ducky3D and he came with some exciting news. He said that there is a new cloth brush in development. So I looked this up to see what it was about and Pablo, the guy who has been doing all the great uh, sculpting additions to Blender has been developing a new cloth brush, which is actually doing physics simulation inside the brush to sculpt cloth on whatever model you're using. And this is a pretty unique feature, especially to Blender and is going to be a big game changer, although it's still not available, but I imagine it's going to come out in 2.83. But as you can see from some of this test footage, this is absolutely insane. So this brush looks like it's going to have four modes being grab, drag, twist, and pinch. And these are all modes that are going to affect how the cloth is going to behave when you actually deform it. And there's actually a lot more going on as I speak. He's coming out with updates like all the time on Twitter. So it looks like you can even use masking to pin part of the cloth so that part stays stationary and you can like tug on other areas and it also looks like it's going to work with a limited fall off. So if you have a giant sphere or something and you only want it to affect a tiny area, it works without dragging something from a very large distance away, which is important if you actually want to maintain the boundaries of your model and only affect stuff in the center. So again, all this is still in development. I'm always checking the uh, Blender Git to see if anything's been added because I just want to try this out so bad. But I just wanted to report on this very cool feature. So thank you, Pablo, for doing all this stuff for sculpting. It's making Blender kind of like a leading uh, program in terms of features being added. Of course, it's no ZBrush, but who cares? I just want Blender to be better. And hopefully the people who are doing sculpting all the time, which is not me, find this to be very useful whenever they're making a character with a cape or just with any clothes. I cannot imagine doing uh, wrinkles by actually, you know, modeling them in. And also it should be pretty obvious. You can use this in tons of applications. Like there's no reason you can't, you know, kind of tweak it. So it kind of works like wrinkles because it's kind of a similar idea. So this is a very cool brush. It's a very neat idea to use physics inside a sculpting brush. But there you go, CG Matter on the scene reporting. Thank you, Ducky, for the heads up.